Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to crochet a circle bag using waffle stitch. The materials required are 8 play cotton yarn, 300 grams sky blue color crochet hook for mm, stitch marker, scissors and a blunt needle. Let's begin our project by making a magic circle or a magic ring. After completing the magic circle, for the round one we are going to begin with a chain 2 and into the magic circle work 12 more double crochet. So this will be our first double crochet and place marker in top of the first double crochet. After placing the marker into the magic circle work 11 more double crochet. Now we have completed our working, our 12 double crochet count it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now pull the tail end to close the magic circle and remove the marker and work a slip stitch. After slip stitching for the round 2, begin with the chain 2 and into the double crochet of the previous round, we are going to work one front post double crochet, leave the chain 2 and into the next double crochet, work one front post double crochet. In top of the front post double crochet, place the marker. And in this round, we will be working an increase, so into the next chain, work one double crochet. And again into the next double crochet of the previous round work one front post double crochet. And again into the chain work one double crochet. Again into the next double crochet or con front post double crochet. And into the next chain work one double crochet. So repeat the pattern throughout the round 2, over double crochet or con front post double crochet and into the next chain you will be working one double crochet. Pause the video and continue the same pattern throughout the round 2. Now we are in the end of our round 2, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. After slip stitching for the next round, we are going to work a chain 2 and in the front post double crochet of the previous round, we are going to work one front post double crochet and place marker in top of the first front post double crochet. After completing the front post double crochet, we are going to work an increase, so into the next chain work two double crochet increase. So first double crochet increase and the second double crochet increase. And again into the next front post double crochet we are going to work one front post double crochet. After completing the front post double crochet into the next chain space we are going to work an increase. So two double crochet increase. This will be our first double crochet and into the same chain space the second double crochet. And again into the next front post double crochet work one front post double crochet and into the next chain work two double crochet increase. Now repeat the same pattern throughout the round three. Now we are in the end of a round three, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Now we have completed our round 3 for the next round, begin with the chain 2 and in the front post double crochet of the previous round we are going to work increase. So work 2 front post double crochet over the front post double crochet. So work 
the first front post double crochet over the front post double crochet of the previous round and place marker in top of the first front post double crochet. After placing the marker into the same front post double crochet, we are going to work the second front post double crochet increase. Now we have complete working of two front post double crochet. Next there will be a double crochet. So into the first double crochet of one back post double crochet. Again into the next double crochet of one back post double crochet. So this will be our pattern of this round. Over the front post double crochet of two front post double crochet increase. And into the double crochet of back post double crochet. So this will be our first double crochet increase and into the same front post double crochet work another front post double crochet. So two front post double crochet and into the next double crochet work one back post double crochet. Again into the next double crochet work one back post double crochet. So this will be our pattern. Over the front post double crochet of the previous round or two front post double crochet increase and into the double crochet or one back post double crochet. So continue the pattern. Over the front post double crochet we are going to work the first front post double crochet. And again into the same front post double crochet we are working another front post double crochet. Into the double crochet we are going to work one back post double crochet. And again into the next double crochet or one back post double crochet. Continue the same pattern throughout the round 4. Now we are in the end of a round 4. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the round 5 begin with a chain 2. And in the first front post double crochet of the previous round, work one front post double crochet. And in this round, we will be working in between the front post double crochets. So work one double crochet in between the front post double crochet chain. So here I am working in the chain. So work one double crochet. Again, there will be a front post double crochet. So work one front post double crochet. After completing the front post double crochet, place marker in the very first front post double crochet. After placing the marker into the next two stitches work one double crochet. So into the first stitch we are working one double crochet and into the next chain we are working the second double crochet. This will be our pattern of this round. So into the next front post double crochet work one front post double crochet. And into the next chain work one double crochet. And again there will be a front post double crochet. Work one front post double crochet over front post double crochet. After completing the front post double crochet into the next two stitches work one double crochet. So in the round 5 we are increasing in between the front post double crochets. So continue the pattern. One front post double crochet over front post double crochet. And into the next chain work one double crochet. And into the next front post double crochet work one front post double crochet. And again into the next two stitches work one double crochet. So into the first chain work one double crochet. And into the next chain work one double crochet. So repeat the pattern throughout the round 5. Now we are in the end of a round 5. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the round 6 begin with the chain 2 
and in the front post double crochet work one front post double crochet place marker in top of the front post double crochet and in the next double crochet work two back post double crochet increase so into the double crochet we are going to work the first back post double crochet and again in the same double crochet we are working the second back post double crochet next in the front post double crochet we are working one front post double crochet again in the double crochet we are working back post double crochet so into the very first double crochet we are going to work the back post double crochet again into the next double crochet we are working back post double crochet in this round this will be our pattern over the front post double crochet we are working one front post double crochet and into the next double crochet we are working two back post double crochet increase so the first back post double crochet and the second back post double crochet and into the next front post double crochet we are going to work one front post double crochet and into the next two double crochets we are going to work one back post double crochet so one back post double crochet on double crochet again we are working one back post double crochet over double crochet continue the same pattern throughout the round 6 now we are in the end of our round 6 remove the marker and work a slip stitch for the round 7 begin with a chain 2 and in the front post double crochet we are going to work one front post double crochet after completing the front post double crochet place marker after placing the marker into the next two stitches work one double crochet and in the next front post double crochet we are going to work an increase so two front post double crochet the first front post double crochet increase and the second one in round seven we are increasing here into the next two stitches work one double crochet so this will be our pattern of the round 7 again work one front post double crochet over front post double crochet and in the next two stitches work one double crochet And in the next front post double crochet work an increase so two front post double crochet increase the first front post double crochet increase and the second front post double crochet increase and into the next two stitches work one double crochet repeat the same pattern throughout the round seven now we are in the end of a round 7 remove the marker and work a slip stitch for the round 8 begin with a chain 2 and in the front post double crochet work one front post double crochet and place marker in top of the front post double crochet into the next two double crochet we are going to work back post double crochet so into the first double crochet we are working back post double crochet again into the next double crochet work one back post double crochet now we have reached the increase front post double crochet so into the first front post double crochet work one front post double crochet in between chain that is the next chain work one double crochet and again in the next front post double crochet work one front post double crochet and into the next two double crochets work one back post double crochet so in the very first double crochet we are working one back post double crochet again in the next double crochet work one back post double crochet this will be the pattern of the round eight into the next front post double crochet work one front post double crochet and into the next double crochet work one back post double crochet 
again into the next back post double crochet or one back post double crochet now work one front post double crochet over front post double crochet and into the next chain we are going to work one double crochet and again in the front post double crochet work one front post double crochet and into the next double crochets work one back post double crochet so continue the same pattern throughout the round eight now we are in the end of a round eight remove the marker and work a slip stitch after slip stitching for the round nine begin with the chain two and in the front post double crochet work one front post double crochet and place marker in the front post double crochet into the next two stitches work one double crochet after completing the double crochet into the next front post double crochet work one front post double crochet and into the next double crochet we are going to work an increase so work two double crochet so in this round we are increasing here and after completing the two double crochet increase into the next front post double crochet work one front post double crochet and into the next two stitches work one double crochet into the next chain work one double crochet again into the next chain work another double crochet so this will be our pattern of the round nine in the front post double crochet or on front post double crochet and into the next two stitches work on double crochet after completing the double crochet into the next front post double crochet or on front post double crochet and into the next chain we are working two double crochet increase after completing the two double crochet increase into the next front post double crochet or one front post double crochet and into the next two stitches work one double crochet so this will be our pattern continue the same pattern throughout the round nine now we are in the end of a round nine remove the marker and work a slip stitch for the round 10 we are going to work a chain 2 and in top of the front post double crochet we are going to work one front post double crochet after completing the front post double crochet place marker into the next double crochet we are going to work one back post double crochet again into the next double crochet or one back post double crochet again into the next front post double crochet or one front post double crochet and in the next double crochet or one back post double crochet and in the next double crochet or one back post double crochet again in the front post double crochet or one front post double crochet in the double crochet we are going to work back post double crochet in the double crochet or one back post double crochet again in the next double crochet we are working one back post double crochet so this is the pattern of the round work one front post double crochet over front post double crochet and in the double crochets work one back post double crochet continue the pattern i will be meeting you in the end of the round 10 
Now we are in the end of our round 10. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. After slip stitching for the round 11, begin with the chain 2 and in the front post double crochet, work 1 front post double crochet. After completing the front post double crochet, place the marker and in the next 2 stitches, work 1 double crochet. This round is very easy. Over the front post double crochet, we are going to work front post double crochet and in the next 2 stitches, work double crochet, 1 double crochet. So continue the pattern over the front post double crochet work one front post double crochet and in the next two stitches work one double crochet. So repeat the pattern throughout the round 11. Now we are in the end of our round 11. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Here our circle ends. So now we are going to work for the joining portion. For the round turl, begin with the chain 2 and in the same chain space in the back loop work one half double crochet and place marker in top of the half double crochet. And in this round we are going to work in the back loop. So work one half double crochet in the back loop until you reach the next marker. So like this we are going to work one half double crochet in the back loop until you reach the next marker. So now we can leave 30 chains for the bag opening and place marker. So for the 12th round work one half double crochet leaving the chains for the opening of the bag. So now we have completed working our half double crochet. For the next two rounds we are going to work one half double crochet. So begin with the chain 2 and turn the work and work one half double crochet all along the stitches. So place marker in the half double crochet and continue working one half double crochet all along the stitches. So for the next two rounds work half double crochet. Now we have completed our half double crochet for 2 rounds. So we are going to cut the yarn, work a chain on and cut the extra yarn out. In the similar way work the second piece for the bag. So now we have completed the 2 pieces. So here the second piece we won't cut the yarn. So for the joining place both the right side facing outside and now we can join the bag. So here we are using the slip stitch. So into the first chain insert the needle and pull the loop through the chain and we are going to work a chain one and slip stitch in the very first chain. So pull the loop through the chain. Now work a chain 1 and into the same chain space we are going to work a slip stitch. Again insert the hook into the next chain of the two pieces and work a slip stitch. Like this continue slip stitching the two pieces of the bag.
Now we have reached the end of the bag. Continue slip stitching. Now work the chain on and cut the extra yarn out. After slip stitching the two pieces, the bag will be look like this. You can make the handle of your choices. For the handle, make a slip knot. Insert the slip knot into the chain. After inserting, work a chain one and into the same chain space work one single crochet. After working the single crochet place marker and into the next chains work one single crochet. Continue working the one single crochet in each chains. After completing the single crochet in the joining, for working the handle we can place the marker. So divide the bag equally on both the side and place the marker. Now continue working the single crochet until you reach the marker. Now we have reached the marker, remove the marker and work a single crochet. After completing the single crochet, work chain 70. Now we have completed working our 70 chains. Remove the marker and work a single crochet. After completing the single crochet, work one single crochet all along the stitches until you reach the next marker. So continue working one single crochet until the next marker. Remove the marker and work one single crochet again work 70 chains. After completing the chain 70, remove the next marker and work a single crochet. Again work one single crochet till the next marker. Now we have reached the marker, remove the marker and work one single crochet instead of slip stitch. In top of the single crochet, place the marker. Again for the next 3 rounds, we are going to work single crochet all along the stitches. So round 3, 4 and 5, we will be working single crochets. For the next 3 rounds, work single crochet. Now we have completed working our 3 rounds of single crochet, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Chain on and cut the extra yarn out. Now weave in all the extra yarns. Now we are in the end of our video. So friends I hope you really like this bag. 
try it if you are new to my video subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for the notification thanks for watching again i will be meeting in a new video until then take care and bye bye